A hectic week for police in Bay City. A high speed chase ended when a truck crashed into a townhome Tuesday night and police took another man into custody yesterday afternoon after an armed standoff. Thanks for watching the news at five. I'm David Custer live in our studio in downtown Flint. And I'm Meg McLeod in Saginaw. This all happened amid the new public safety director's first few days on the job. TV 5's James Felton spoke with him about this wild week and what's to come. The people I have in command in this department are fully capable of handling anything that comes their way and I had no, no issues. That's how Bay City Public Safety Director Caleb Rowell felt about an eventful first few days at his new position that featured the end of a police chase on Tuesday and an armed standoff on Thursday. Rowell replaced Michael Giacchini, who retired earlier this month. I have great staff here and I'm excited for the future. Rowell tells me one of his first objectives is to add numbers to the ranks. We're down nine officers right now. Uh, you know, for a small department, that's substantial. Rowell tells us he's authorized to have 57 sworn law enforcement officers on staff. Right now, that number sits at 48. There's not a better place you can work to be a police officer. Um, you will uh, definitely have the backing of your administration if you work here. We will take care of you and make sure you don't want to leave. We also asked Raul about Cicchini and his actions captured on video that led to his retirement. I'm not going to comment on, on anything that happened with the prior chief. I'm not focused on that. I'm, we're moving forward. We have a, a great bunch of officers here, and I'm ready for them to move past it. They didn't do anything wrong, and uh, you know the community is, is awesome treats our, our officers with a ton of respect. Everywhere we go, they say how much they appreciate us. It's, it's a great community to work in. So I'm gonna let the past be in the past. Reporting in Bay City, James Felton, WNEM, TV5.